Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 57 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Oh, and doing videos on YouTube. My new favorite redo. <laughs> now, I'm here today for a haul video. Yesterday I went thrifting in Conway, which is about 30 miles away, and that's um, the closest thrifting town that has more than one uh, store. And so I went and I went to lots of stores and picked up some stuff. So I want to share that with you. So we're going to start off in Moralton. Wait, Lisa, you said you went to Conway and now you're talking about Moralton. Well, Moralton is 15 miles away, but there is only one thrift store there. And so I started off there. Might as well start. They're only open two days a week and one of them is Friday, so I happen to be there. Now, yesterday was dollar bag day because they're clearing out all their summer stuff. And that meant a dollar bag for shoes, a dollar bag for clothes. So, I took advantage of that. Let's start off with the shoes. Now, taking consideration, every one of these shoes I got for a total of $1, okay? This is a pair, sorry, of Nina dress shoes. Uh, nice shoes, nothing wrong with them. Heels are good. Um, the only problem is they're a size six, but they're still nice. Somebody needs a size six. And if they need a size six in a neutral color, a cream color, then they need a size six in a black. I have a nice pair. Now these are dated, um, you know, but they're still Ralph Lauren shoes, and I generally don't have any problems selling them. Um, nice shoes, great shape again, heels. And these are six and a half, but they might still be from the same person. Okay. Now, those are shoes that could go from summer to winter, you know, with a little bit of extra oomph. So these are all sandals. Um, I won't be in this hurry to list them, but I'll list them as soon as I have a, you know, a death, ah, I'm sorry, <laughs> my death pile. Okay, this is a pair of Born, a little wedge, cork wedge sandals, real cute. Um, they are a size, let's see, size eight, size eight. Then I have a pair of Also a pair of BOC. Now these are born also born sandals. Uh, real cute with a little flower on it. I've actually sold three or four of this style in different colors this summer. And they are a size seven. So not the same person. And then the last pair of shoes. Now taking consideration, I got every one of these for $1 total. Okay. Is another pair of wedge, cork wedge sandals by BOC, and that's just a, um, a brand of born, uh, kind of like, uh, Mark by Mark Anthony, you know, it's, it doesn't matter to me, and probably a lot of people it doesn't matter to. So, that was my bag of shoes, and I had six pair for a dollar, so what does that add up to? Um, sorry, my brain's gone frozen, about 17 cents, is that about right? Okay, so then, as far as the clothes bag, and she did a nice job. I start off with a pair of Eddie Bauer women's pants. And uh, yeah, they're not stylish. They're not anything like that. But if somebody loves their Eddie Bauer pants, they want the same pair, I got it for them. I got it. So that's one shirt. This is a nice, um, just a linen tank top. Y'all know me and Lennon. It's Liz Claiborne. Nothing too expensive. But if I had seen this for more, I probably would have picked it up because I love Lennon. Now, is it the time for Lennon? No. Well, I list it. Yeah. Okay. And then this, sorry, is a mud cloth little blouse. I was really kind of surprised. You know, I hear y'all speak of mud cloth. I've never even seen don't even really know what it is, but I liked it. Thought it was pretty. It is new other because there is a nice little button bag hanging from it. So we're up to three garments. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren 
little uh, lightweight springy um, convertible sleeve let's see button convertible sleeve button uh, front top and uh, in and, and a large so four okay this is a pair of coppin shorts you know I've shopped in this store several times even in the past month I've stopped in and not noticed these shorts and you'd think they would have all the uh, shorts and stuff out but you know coppin's a pretty nice brand it's one of those outdoor brands sorry i'm gonna get it for you see coppin copen maybe copen i don't not sure okay and then also i got this little nike extra large sorry tank cross tank I'm not sure if it's a swimsuit. It may be a swimsuit or an athletic top. Uh, I've got to do a little bit more, but it is brown, which isn't the most exciting color, but it really, brown looks beautiful on people. So he's got the little Nike swoosh there. Okay. Still pulling things out of that dollar bag. This is just a loft shirt, a uh, little cap sleeve t-shirt. in a medium, just nice and soft. Um, I'll probably like be on the lookout for another one of those so I can uh, pair them together and sell them as a lot. Okay, and my last item from that box is an Anna, which is just JCPenney's, um, an Anna, a new approach uh, that originally cost $35, but as we know, pennies, a lot of these department stores Coles, they jack up their prices so that they can run sales on them. <laughs> do we do that? Maybe. I usually inflate my prices just a little bit to take care of offers. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, clothing items that I got in that bag. So I walked away with a lot of real, 14 items for $2. And they're all name brand. I uh, wouldn't probably gotten the Anna um, had I not, had they not been new with tags, but I probably would have picked up all the rest. So I want to show you something before I go on to the rest of my haul. I want to show you how I organize my receipts when I'm out thrifting. I got a little home finance and bill organizer. And so when I'm out thrifting, I put all of my items, my receipts and stuff in here, and then I record how much they are there. That's why it's a double check. And then I entered that information into my computer. Sometimes, like February, that was my no thrift February. I didn't thrift. But so yesterday when I was out, this is what I did. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I did, and I recorded. This was the Conway County Care Center, no tax, and it was $2. Now, they don't give receipts. I just mark it down. I never spend a lot of money there, so I guess if the IRS wants to dispute the fact that I uh, don't have a receipt for it, it's not going to cost me a ton. I do have it written down. They can go back forever and see, I can show them my mileage where I went to it. Um, and that's another thing. I use Mile IQ to keep up with my mileage. It's not very expensive, and it does a really good job of reminding me if I've forgotten to put my mileage in there, um, where it went, if it was personal or business, and what if business, what it was for. But it's a good program. If you haven't checked it out, up until this year, I always just wrote it down. And it was a pain in the butt because I would forget until later on in the day. And I'd been all these places. And I don't remember what my initial... So I'm sure I'll kick myself out of lots of money because I don't go a lot of places that I can't attribute mileage to. Um, so just wanted to show you this little tip. It's not anything... I mean, I think it cost... I got it at Dollar General. And, you know, 2 or $3 but 
it's wonderful. You can check the last two years. I have one very similar, different color and everything than this. Okay, let's get on. Y'all are tired of me talking, aren't you? I know. Don't be tired because we still got us to go. Okay, then I went to the ghost store. Now I'm going to reopen this so I know how much I spent there. And at the ghost store, I spent $6. And I get for, for $5, you get a um, bag of clothes. And so I spent $6. I spent $6. Also got a piece of jewelry for a friend. So this is just a J. Jill chambray denim shirt. Great for the season. Um, I need to get that up and get it listed. Because right now is a great time. I got these for myself. A pair of, oh, maybe these aren't the ones for myself. No, I don't think so. These are Nike, but just a real pretty colorway. The navy and the, the uh, gold um, kind of looks like uh, navy's colors. The U.S. Navy, Naval Academy's colors, okay? Then I also got this Polo Jeans Company corduroy jacket. I don't know if people are buying these now, but y'all know I have kind of an obsession with polo and Ralph Lauren, anything. And, uh, you know, surely I can sell it for something. Okay, I think these are the ones I got for myself. Let's see. Nope, apparently I didn't. Maybe it was a totally different place. These are Adidas. And they have the three stripe, and these are extra large. Both pairs of these pants are extra large. They're climate proof. You know, always look for keywords on your um, items. So, some I have are climate proof. Right here, it says climate 365. So, you know, those are things I want to put in there because somebody's favorite pair of adidas um track pants may say those words and they that's what they go looking for okay let's see and then we have a long sleeve t-shirt and it may not fit my daughter but i had to get it my uh, daughter uh, it's it's an uh, autism awareness t-shirt uh, real pretty it's a season of caring caring autism, autism awareness uh she has asperger's she has a college degree, full-time job, everything. She just has Asperger's. And so, you know, I always pick up things like that. If I can wear them, I keep them for myself. If they're a little bit smaller, I give them to her. But it's just something that that uh, I'm proud of her for overcoming. I don't guess you ever overcome it, but I'm proud of her for pushing through. And then the last item that I got from there was a pair of cut from the cloth uh, size 12 pants that I'm going to try myself and hopefully they'll fit. I've, I've lost quite a bit of weight since last Chris, since last winter so I need some pants. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So six items in there for five dollars. So less than a dollar a piece um, on the items from the ghost store. And again, I paid $6. Well, we'll just count it a dollar a piece because the jewelry item uh, I did uh, also get. It was just a pretty long. I should have brought it out, but I didn't. Okay, so let's go. Where do we go next? I don't know if I'm going in the right order, but we're going to see. Okay, so I went to Salvation Army and did really well there. Let's just get started. So this is a cute, really, really cute, Nick and Nora, sorry, Nick and Nora, new with tags, pajama set. And they are an extra, extra large. These have just become a Christmas present. I paid $6, I paid up $3 for each piece, but those are really nice. So I'm tickled to death that I got them. Then I also got a pair of Allen Edmonds Kilty. That's the Kilty, the across, I think it's Scottish Kilty, tasseled cap toe loafers. And, and they are a, can you see that? I, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. They are a Dalton. 
um, size 10, great size. Uh, Allen Edmonds is a very nice shoe brand. I hope to get, I don't know, $40, $50 for those and I paid four. Okay, then I also got some things. Some of the, most of these were either 50 or 75% off. This is a pair of, I bet you'd never guess what they are. <laughs> and that's what, if you get like Victoria's Secret or in pink, something like that, you want, people get that, they want people to know that that's what it is. So you wanna be sure they have their logo emblazoned on it. And as you can tell, pink is emblazoned everywhere. So that pair of shorts, I got this cute pair of maternity, sorry, maternity overalls, really cute. And they are by In Due Time uh, in a size medium. Okay, a pair of Ezekiel pants, new with tags, size 34, great size. And these are a stitch fix pair of shorts. Great short, great looking shorts. They feel great. Every, everything is just on point. Okay, this is a pair, and I have to be honest, I have not run camp comps. This is a uh, Gramisi, Gramiki, uh, men's shorts. Real nice. Um, they feel good. So that's what I thought. And, and I think these were Let's see, well, 75 cents, so I took a chance on them. Okay, a pair of Miss Me jeans, and yes, Miss Me aren't what they used to be, but they still are. People still like them, especially with all the fleur de lis bling on the pocket and everything, and these were in beautiful shape, and these are the Easy Skinny in a size 28. And so many times when you find the Miss Me jeans, they're like a 24 or 25. So at least a 28 is reasonable. <laughs> okay, this is a pair of Title IX shorts. I've only found Title IX around here one other time. They sold pretty quickly. Um, I bought them. And then the last item I got from there was a vintage pair of Polo Jeans Company denim cargo shorts. Okay. In a size, pretty good size of size, uh, well, let's see, 38. Okay, so some real nice little um, men's shorts. They do have a little place right there. Jeez, sorry. Uh, not too big, so. For 75 cents, I took a chance. So let's see how many I got from there so I know about what I paid for those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I paid, let's see, where is the Salvation Army? I paid 23.50. So essentially, I paid $2 and 35 cents for each item in, in that, okay? Now let's see, what next? Let's see, let's move these over so I have a little room, okay? I also went to St. Joe, and this, um, I didn't buy much. I was running, they had, I think they closed at three, 3.30, but whatever it was, I was like getting in and they were announcing you have 20 minutes to, to check out. And they're serious. When they say you have 20 minutes, they mean you have 20 minutes to have your item and get out the door, not get in line. They, I mean, they close the registers at that time. So I just went over to the Flush and they were having a big sale. I took advantage of it. Um, real cute Dakin elephant with a little, um, you know, I can remember my son wearing a, little outfit just like this. So I gotta get it washed up. This is a little precious moment. Isn't that cute? Um, they all need loving. They all need washing machine loving. This is a cute little, this is by Cuddle Wit. Cute little 
duck in a little sailor uniform. I wonder if, based on the elephant and the duck, if somebody in the family wasn't in the Navy, because uh, both of them are kind of Navy, naval outfits. And then, Isn't that precious? Amen. This is by Kids 2. When you, these each were, I'm sorry, they were two for a quarter. So I bought all four of those for 50 cents. And then the last item I got, like I said, I didn't have much time, so I kind of had to do, was a College World Series hat. And this was in 2019. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. It's by Zephyr, and it also like has all the different uh, teams that were in it, and this was the year that Arkansas was in it. And Arkansas is usually in the College World Series, unless they flub up like in 2020, but usually they're there. What do you think about my haul? Oh, I forgot to tell you how much. Oh, the hat was 50 cents, so yes, I spent a dollar there. Let's see, got a couple. Where are my other things? Oh, I left them on the table. I'm going to pause this video, and I'll be right back. Okay. Yesterday, not only was I thrifting, I was also looking for my granddaughter a burgundy dress to wear as an honorary bridesmaid in the wedding of my niece, which is coming up in three weeks, and her mother and father haven't taken care of getting her one, and they've known about it for six months. Oh, that's okay. So... I went lots of places looking for this. I went to Penny's, and we don't have many things, many places in Conway. And it, I was tired by the time I told, was told I needed to do this, so we just went to a couple places. But I also went to a couple of consignment stores I know that have nice things. And I found at, at uh, I think it's called Magnolias, found a nice pair of Polo Ralph Lauren blue shorts. Just uh, really nice. They're flat front. Um, super nice. Let's see. I think these are ones that don't have the Ralph Lauren. But my, you know, usually colored jeans don't sell. But Polo Ralph Lauren colored shorts, they sell real well. And so this one is also a Polo Ralph Lauren. And it has the little... These were each $3 at the consignment store. They were um, on a clearance rack for $3. Then I went to, across the road, I went to a place called Dads and Lads, and the lady there is so nice, and she just, it's always so helpful, and I go buy her dollar rack stuff, or yesterday she was also having a, if from the dollar rack you could put, if you could cram it all in a bag, you could get up to $5. I mean, you get a $5 bag. I don't even know how many I got. Okay, this is a pair of American Eagle, pretty, pretty used, cut off shorts, pretty well distressed. Um, I think it most of it's uh, factory distressing, but these are a size six. That was one item I got. The next item was a, let's see, guess what? It was a Ralph Lauren Polo, um, pair of pants and they are not seeing a tag but that's okay because with men's pants you know let's see the little logo there with men's pants it's really easy to do them all you got to do is measure the waist measure the inseam which I do for every pair of pants all my clothes um, I uh, give them the measurements so but with that you can put in the title let's say those are 33 by 32. Well, you've just told men the size, and they would probably rather have that than what's on the tag because that often changes. Okay, then I found a pair of Dress Barn. And Dress Barn around here is no longer open. I don't know if it's, but a size 14, new with tags, a pair of um, dressier capris. And so they may not sell right now. But maybe closer to Christmas, somebody will buy themselves a present with their bonus money. Okay, then a pair of loft jeans, just your basic loft jeans. Nothing fancy about them. They are a 31. 
Um, so they are a size 12. I'm going to try them on. I don't think these run as big as those others, but I am going to try them on. And then the last item that I got uh, yesterday thrifting is just a pair of Old Navy pant, uh, jeans. I think everybody knows what Old Navy looks like. But they were the wider, not a super flare leg, um, but wider. And these do have some heel uh, distress, some hem distress on the back side where people generally walk on them a little bit. So, how'd I do? What do you think? So, let me see. Let me see about this. One, two, three, four, five. So, I got five items for $5. Um, you do, of course, have to pay tax there. Uh, so I think it was 546 is what it was because everything's recorded in my handy dandy little notebook. I had a fun day yesterday, but I admit I was pretty exhausted whenever I got home because I went to so many places I don't normally, but if I hadn't gone to a couple of those places, I would have never found those really cute polo shorts or these uh, other items and I paid $10 and uh, 46 cents for all of them. So, how do you think I did? I think I did great. I think I did great. Um, any super, I'm gonna make a bunch of money. Maybe the Allen Edmonds shoes. You know, I hope to make $50 on them. But everything else is just bread and butter. And what's bread and butter to me might not be bread and butter to someone else. So, that's the thing with resale. We all do it differently. We all handle how we do it differently. Reselling, I think that's one of the reasons I like it so much is because we're all independent how we do it. Now, I take ideas from this person, and I take it from that person, and that person, and then I kind of mesh them and make them my own. So, I hope you've learned something today. Um, I hope you got to see some items that you might be finding in your consignment stores or your thrift stores, and you might want to uh, go get them. Now, right now is the time. Now, right now, boy. Right now is the time to go pick up those summer things. And if you have a place to store them, you can always put them in a box and about January, list them all. Or if you don't have the room, go ahead and list them now. It's not going to hurt anything. People buy all year round. It's warm somewhere. People go on cruises. People go on vacations. They need things that they hadn't thought about during the summer to get. Okay. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, more haul videos, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified anytime that I put out a video, which I usually do three to four a week. So if you want to be notified, then hit ring the bell. You like my shirt? <laughs> I do. It's it's a shacket, okay? Um, and although it's Arkansas in the middle of September, inside it's still a little bit cool for me. So I put it on, I thought, it's thrifted. I'm gonna wear it. But I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.